the 23rd of September 2019. Uh, apologies for the uh, sporadic commentaries towards the end of last week. Yours truly was uh, suffering from a bit of uh, early season flu, but thankful to say feeling a little bit more uh, human today. So welcome to a new week to everyone. I uh, hope you did all have an enjoyable and relaxing weekend. Um, the new week actually begun fairly quietly with uh, the market still digesting Friday's rather abrupt end to the trade talks between China and the US. Uh, however, uh, we did have a landmark event in the crypto markets. Um, today saw the first Bitcoin futures trade uh, on the backed exchange. Uh, unlike the CME contracts, um, futures contracts that cash settle, these contracts would expire with physical delivery of uh, Bitcoin. So uh, crypto traders are hoping that this new initiative will prove attractive to institutional players. Um, the early market reaction uh, was very much muted, um, although saying that the launch day has been known for a long time, so it wasn't really much of a market surprise. But uh, Bitcoin begins the day um, just below 10,000 at uh, 9940, and uh, ETH is sitting at uh, 210. For uh, FX, um, there's some particularly weak European PMI data, purchasing manager index data, uh, was to get the markets moving after a uh, rather subdued Asian session due to a holiday in Japan. Uh, the biggest mover was Euro Yen, which dropped uh, 400 points from 118.75 down to 117.75. Uh, we had Euro against the US breaking um, under 110, initially touching a low of 109.66, uh, and that in turn dragged selling down to 124.25, and volume down to 107.30. Uh, US equity futures also reversed some early gains. Um, Dow Jones at one point was showing uh, up 100 points, which quickly turned to uh, down 50 and the whole more than an hour. And the main beneficiary of uh, these moves will be gold, uh, which rallied up to 1521 uh, an ounce uh, on the back of the week in data. The, uh, the US day would begin somewhat more positively with a pullback for Euro again, back up to 118.20, um, taking Euro back towards 110. Uh, but the equity markets would uh, open fairly weak, um, um, you know, based on the ongoing, uh, the ongoing trade and growth concerns. Uh, Dow Jones uh, starts off down 80 points, um, and the DAX in Europe already down 150 points. However, uh, as the day progresses, um, for no real particular reason, uh, U.S. equities start to claw their way back uh, with the Dow Jones flat by the time Europe goes home. Uh, Euro continues to push to try and get back above 110 and sterling up to 124.40. But uh, that would be about it for uh, for Monday. Once Europe went home, things went very, very quiet. And uh, we saw U.S. equities really close, um, so a, a little mix, but you know, essentially flat on the day with the Dow Jones up just 14 points, and the Nasdaq and S&P both lower by less than 0.1%. Uh, gold remained the winner on the day, uh, closing around 15.2350. Um, and for FX, there's really very little movement from the uh, from the European close. As I said, uh, Euro struggling to get back above 110, and dollar yen uh, ending the day at 107.45. For crypto, uh, what was supposed to be a celebratory day for the back to exchange, which I guess still is because they did the first trade, but uh, it did turn into a bit of a wet blanket as uh, Bitcoin inched lower down to uh, 9,800 and Ethereum dropped down to 205. I have no doubt there will be uh, some much more exciting days uh, lay ahead this week, but uh, for today that was uh, about as exciting as it got. If you uh, if you missed the move lower in, uh, in Euro Yen after the PMI data this morning, uh, you pretty much missed your day. So um, just touching from a technical perspective, um, you know, given the movements we have today, I figured I'd just bring up this euro dollar chart again. It's a very simple one hour chart. Um, you know, we had to move lower today from 110.25 around here, for those of you who can see on the uh, on the screen, uh, down to a low 109.66. And then we've had these repeated attempts to nudge the 110 area and uh, kind of falling a little bit short of that at the moment. Um, the reason I'm highlighting it is you can see down the bottom here, um, you know, September has given us two, a um, couple of, well, yeah, a couple of double, uh, a double bottom from uh, the 109, 26, 27 area 
uh, one going back here on the 3rd of September. And then we've got another one here on the 12th of September, uh, both times touched, and it bounced pretty aggressively. Um, you know, first time we got up to 110.85, second time, well, I guess ultimately got as high as about 111.10, something like that. Um, and we're back down here again. And, you know, given the fact the ECB is looking to add stimulus um, and you've got the weak data coming out of Europe, you do wonder if Euro is on the verge of trying to support, uh, test these support levels once more. So uh, just something to keep an eye on. And with that, I shall bid you all a uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. And uh, look forward to talking to you tomorrow.